Some believe this nuclear signing by the president could also benefit companies like the Maryland-based IonQ. So let's bring in now the CEO, Niccolo Demasi. Niccolo, thanks for joining us. Connect the dots between this nuclear signing and your company. What is the connection? Well, we actually think quantum computing is going to positively impact every aspect of applied science. Um, we've been 30 years in the making. We were the first public company in the sector. We're actually not just the leading quantum computing company, but we're also the leading quantum networking company. And there's a virtuous circle between our computers becoming exponentially more powerful every generation and actually needing quantum networking, right? So quantum computing is going to address the world's most challenging problems, address the world's most frankly, practically important problems in every aspect of applied science from drug discovery to materials to defense uh, and even, even helping the energy space. Think about things like grid distribution and trying to make energy production and distribution more efficient. Um, yeah. I think we're seeing an enthusiasm around you know, the market realizing INQ is the leader. It's consolidating around us as uh, the leader in the business of quantum. Uh, and I think we've also made some acquisitions recently that have really extended our leadership position as we continue to double revenue uh, year on year. Yeah, making some deals in sort of, obviously you're an extremely intelligent guy based right around the corner from the University of Maryland. In plain English, Niccolo, why do our audience who are not quantum computing experts, why do they care about the work that you and your company are doing? We're expanding the art of the possible in the world of computation and computing. So just like NVIDIA's GPUs and Broadcom's GPUs have enabled things like large language models and AI to happen, quantum processing units, QPUs as we call them, are going to be the next leg up in the computing ecosystem's growth. It is the biggest shift in computing, I would argue, in 80 years. We're moving from classical computing, which has been going since the 1940s. 80 years later, we're moving into the, into the realm of quantum computing. And our machines are becoming more powerful at what I call a double exponential rate. So they don't double every 18 months like Moore's Law in the classical space. Mm -hmm. They can move forward by 240 million times, for example. That's the difference between our system at the moment and our system next year. And the one after that, an even bigger factor, right? So customers are jumping on the bandwagon because they don't want to miss this, right? It's going to be yeah. so powerful in the next year or two or three that they absolutely need an early lead and to so make sure it doesn't pass them by. Let's talk about where we stand in this because let's be the one thing about energy, okay? And we've got this nuclear signing coming up. The one thing about energy is that there's been a lot of promise for a long time. In 1993, I wrote a, a fiction novel about cold fusion. It was a piece of garbage. I, I read it now and it's a million, I never published it. It's terrible. But the premise of fusion and cold fusion, the creation of energy from a minimal amount of energy that sort of just constantly expands, basically recreating almost the sun in a weird way, has been around forever. Quantum computing, I've heard about for 20 years. Where do we stand? Is it, is, are, is it here? Is this actually happening? Or is it my book? Yeah, no, it's actually happening for IonQ. Uh, we're delivering 12% narrow commercial advantage for customers like ANSYS. And we announced that actually at NVIDIA's GTC event in March. And that's on our current AQ36 system. The next system's 240 million times more powerful. So that number is going up. Exactly how much it's going up, no one will know, uh, you know, until the new system is running the same algorithm. But it's obviously going up potentially a long way. And so our commercial customers, whether it's AstraZeneca, Airbus, uh, you know, General Dynamics, um, all recognize that the next year and the year following that are just going to be tremendous advances in what quantum computing can bring to their problem solving and yeah. bring to things like getting drugs out in the battlefield of the future. Um, and so, you know, I think quantum, look, we're in the era of narrow commercial advantage. We're moving to the era of broad quantum advantage. And there'll be eventually the era of quantum supremacy, right? But right now it's a really exciting time, right? Because we're building ecosystems. We're selling systems to customers around the world. We've sold the majority of the systems that have ever been sold in this ecosystem. Uh, and on top of that, we're also selling our quantum networking equipment. So as quantum computers become more powerful, and they might be able to you know, soon crack encryption uh -huh. uh, for things like RSA, the basis of the internet, you need INQ because we're bringing the quantum internet into reality. And we're going to keep your information safe and keep your banking 
uh, you know, processes safe and keep, frankly, your telco processes safe. Um, people don't, I think, fully appreciate yeah. that the modern world relies on secure communications, and secure communication networks are something that we uniquely provide. We're the only public quantum community company that also is the leading quantum networking company. And it's a virtuous circle and flywheel for us to sell both these products and land and expand with all of our customer ecosystems.